the $4,000. Yes, $4,000 more for your trade for a very limited time at Keystone Chevrolet in Sand Springs. I think it's officially time to give the Coach of the Year award to Mike Gundy. Ten wins, at least a share of the Big 12 South title, and when nobody expected, more than seven wins. It's as, as good as it's been. It would be epic if the Cowboys get a win this week. Caden has more from Stillwater. Shaq, the Cowboys and Sooners have played 104 times over the years, OSU winning just 17, and they've lost each of the last seven. But as this particular team has already taught us this year, by going down to Lubbock and winning for the first time since 1944, by going down to Austin and doing the same, when it comes to this team, OSU's history just doesn't matter. This is all about us. It doesn't worry. We don't worry about the past. We don't think about the past. This is us. This is our team. This is our season. And it's up to us to do what we need to do this year. I think we don't pay attention to a lot of things that's outside of these walls. So, you know, we, um, a lot of us are too young to even understand those streaks. So we just go out and play the game that we love to play and we come out successful. You know how a team just has that season and this year is this, that season for the Cowboys. The winner of this game, in all likelihood, your Big 12 South champion, Bedlam number one. 105, quite simply, one of the biggest ever. There's just so much riding on this game, and I, I'm ex extremely pumped up for this one. And as you can tell, I'm just excited to get to it. I wish we could play tomorrow. Bedlam takes care of itself. You don't have to say too much or do too much. If you can't get up for this game, you're not even an athlete, really. Shaq, great teams and great players make great games, and I think we have all of the above here Saturday night. You know, the Bolitnikoff Award, which goes to the nation's top wide receiver every year, announcing its three finalists on Monday, making the list, OU's Ryan Broyles and OSU's Justin Blackman. We're expecting a good one Saturday night, 7 o'clock, right here in Stillwater. Caden McFarland, 2 News, works for you. Thank you, Caden. Oklahoma is an underdog, according to Las Vegas. OU has not played well on the road this season, with the exception of last week. If these two teams are at their best, it could be one for the ages. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think this game is even bigger than the Texas the River rivalry. You know, these guys are Oklahoma. You know, they they're right down the road from us. Knows, you know, so I mean, we we see them, they see us, and it's going to be a good game. And um, got to continue to get better during the week and prepare the way we've been preparing. Oh, it's, it's a great game, especially with what, what's on stake this year. Uh, and definitely every year, it always comes down to Oklahoma, us and Oklahoma State. So it's one of those things that we're looking forward to. And we did have, unfortunately, two turnovers. We've been pretty good with the ball. Uh, but next week will be a lot of fun, a huge challenge, and we need to play stronger next week to have a chance to win that one.